black and white What is up guys, that college gamer here. Welcome to Let's Chat Gaming number 12. Now, you might be wondering what Let's Chat Gaming is. It is the same thing that we've been doing with the vlogs. We have just put a name on the vlog series. I figured, you know, just calling it vlog number 12, vlog number 11, and so on or whatnot didn't seem very appealing so we decided to name it you know brand it a little bit and hopefully give it a little more give it a little more light um so let's chat gaming is what we came up with and it is exactly you know what this vlog is all about we're gonna chat about gaming topics that are new and and on the top of everybody's mind, and mostly by everybody, I mean myself and the people that I hang out with on a day-to-day -day basis and communicate with and collaborate with via social and within my friend group. So yeah, let's chat gaming. It's going to be big. And I look forward to you know this journey that I'm going to take with you guys on this new vlog series. Well, it's the same vlog series, but, you know, a little branding never, never hurt anybody. So, what is the topic today? Well, it's something that uh, kind of irritates me, and by kind of, I mean a lot. Really pisses me off, pissed me off when I, when I found the news that Nintendo is discontinuing the NES Classic Edition. So, for those of you who do not know what the NES Classic Edition is, it is basically a system that Nintendo came out with that was looked just like the old classic NES, was a lot smaller, but it had 30 uh, games from the NES, and you could plug it right into a TV via HDMI, and you had access to 30 classic uh, retro games, you know, right at your fingertips, and so it came out in November of 2016 so you know give or take six months ago from from when this video is coming out and it has been sold out ever since there was no pre-orders for it they never they didn't allow pre-orders so it came out I, I believe November 11th of 2016 no pre-orders as I said sold out ever since okay so let, let, let's let that sink in for a second that they're discontinuing something that has been sold out for six months six months okay any other company in the world that had a product that was so in demand that it was sold out for six months would be like, oh god, oh god, sorry, I am playing this as I am recording. I like to do that because I like this to be authentic and not be, you know, recorded a hundred times and fake. Like, this is, this is all on the go. So I hope you guys like that aspect. Oh man! Anyways, so, sold out for six months and they're discontinuing it and from what i understand and everything that i'm reading it's it's almost an instant flip of the switch like this thing is done like we're not going to see it in stores even more than we weren't seeing it before and yeah so if you don't have an nes classic like myself i do not have one we're screwed because 
what this just did, well, let's backtrack. The unit was, was priced at $60, okay? 60 bucks, 30 games, classic games, an awesome price. Uh, really can't, you can't beat it for the, uh, for the value. So 60 bucks, retail price, and when people got a hold of these, they were they were reselling them, you know, scalpers, typical, for $150 to $200 on eBay. Okay, and this is like current day before this announcement happened. Um, you know, people, people are flipping these things for 3x uh, of what they paid for them. And I would imagine that in the next week, since this announcement has come out, you know, these things are going to double from that price. So these are going to be $300 units. And I, I'm just looking these up, looking this up as I'm recording this video. Here's the top five sold units. And this is all today. 315, 310, 367, 325, 345. 400, 290, 250, 300, 305, 350, the list goes on, okay? It's only going to get higher. I would not be surprised that if come, you know, later this year, that if you go look on eBay and there's a brand new unopened box of this, of the NES Classic, it'll be in the $500 range. I mean, literally flip of the switch within... Not even 12 hours of the announcement, they jumped, you know, $150. Like, that's, that is insane, okay? So, what Nintendo just did is made a scalper's dream come true, because you know there was people hoarding these, and, and basically not letting people who actually want to play them, like myself, get a copy. Um... So yeah, Nintendo completely fucked up. They definitely have some explaining to do. There, there is no reason why they, why why they should discontinue this. The only thing that I can think of, there's two things that I can think of as to why they did this, which would make sense. as to why they discontinued. So number one. Number one would be they ran into some sort of copyright issue with some of the game developers um, of the games for the NES Classic. Now, I don't know if that's the case. Probably a small percentage chance. But, I mean... If that's the case, like, how would you not get that, oh god, Guardian, how would you not get that squared away, in sign papers, and, and get that, you know, in the lock before, before this goes? Okay, so I find it hard to believe, I'm seeing that around the internet and, and things like that, that that could be an issue, I don't 100% buy it, I probably 20% buy it, so that's number one. Number two, okay, number three, okay, I have three. So number two would be, there's something new coming, right? There's something new on the horizon that my guess would be released at E3 uh, or announced it at the minimum. And, you know, something new, better, awesome. Now, why they would halt production of this thing makes zero fucking sense, but... You know, that, that could be an option. And if that's the case, I will be okay with it. Now, my thought is that if they were to do this, they should they should have announced it at E3 and then said, hey, we're stopping production of the NES Classic. So then it's like, oh, shit, can't get the NES Classic, but this cool NES Classic 2 or whatever. The second version is coming out in October, so I'm not completely pissed off. 
Right now it's like, oh my god, all my dreams came true with the NES Classic, and then Twitter blows up and I find out that they're not making them anymore, which is fucking ridiculous. So number three is that Nintendo could not keep up with demand, and they just threw in the towel. They just threw in the towel and said, fuck it, this is too difficult, we can't handle it, we can't keep up with demand, so we're just going to throw in the towel and focus on the Switch. Production. Which is complete horse shit. Because that's that's probably the main thing that, that could have happened, is that they just gave up. Because they said, they quoted, hey, we you know, talk to fans and this is the best thing for it. Like, no, you fucking didn't talk to the fans. Because every Nintendo player that I know, that I'm associated with, that I follow on Twitter, Instagram, you name it, wanted an NES Classic but never had the opportunity to buy one. Because Nintendo didn't fucking make enough of them. Like they do with every single thing that they come out with. The Nintendo Switch is going to be sold out for six months. Because I don't know how to fucking make enough of them. The Wii was sold out for six to eight months. And then, the flip side of that, the Wii U, in the last year or two of production, they decided to go make fucking more units when nobody wanted it because they already knew that there was a new system coming and that the Wii U was a failure overall. So, they make production, they increase shit, for a system that nobody wants, and then they don't make enough of the systems that people want. So, like, clearly the people that make decisions at Nintendo need to be fired instantly, and they need to hire me to run their fucking supply chain. Because they don't know shit. They literally don't understand supply and demand. And they don't understand marketing. And they just don't understand business. Because they'll release shit just at the dumbest times. And then they'll, you know, not be able to make enough units. At least when Apple has an iPhone that they come out with, you can usually get an iPhone within three months. Like, yeah, it's going to be sold out day one. It happens. You're going to have the fanboys buying the new red iPhone day one. But three months from now, if I go to the store, I'll be able to get a red iPhone and I can get you know, the plus, the regular, any size gigabyte, like, they have their shit together, right? Three months, I totally understand if you're sold out. Totally understand. Six months after, and then you quit production? Like, you you gotta be fucking kidding me. You should plan this out. You should have a process down. Like, Nintendo's a 20, 25-year-old company of, you know, being a huge, large-scale manufacturer. They should know how to do this. This isn't their first rodeo of releasing the system. Like, they fucked up. They really fucked up. And they're, they're pissing people off with every single decision that they make. They're pissing people off. And it's going to come down to if they, if they don't fix it, if they don't get new, uh, new leadership, new... Just people making decisions within their company, they're going to be dead within five years. And you can quote me on that. Nintendo's going to be fucking dead because Microsoft knows how to do it. PlayStation and Sony know how to do it. I bet the Scorpio, you'll be able to get one in January. Like, without a doubt. Yeah, it's going to be sold out in the holiday season. But so is everything. That's understandable. But I bet you'll be able to get one in January and February. Like... Microsoft has their shit together. Nintendo, it's time to get your shit together because you're losing fans, you're pissing everybody off, and people are just not going to deal with that shit. The people who actually care about your brand are in their 20s and 30s right now and don't have time to deal with your shit. So get it together, Nintendo. It's not a game anymore, okay? You're not dealing with parents who know, who know nothing. You're dealing with people, an educated consumer, that, that's just tired of your fucking games. So, thank you guys for stopping by on this. Check the links in the description. Let me know your thoughts on Nintendo discontinuing 
the NES Classic Edition. Again, thank you guys for all the support on these Let's Chat Gaming videos. I really appreciate it. Next week, we will be talking about ukulele, still playing it, trying to get my head around my full opinion on the game. So far, so good. That is all I'm going to say about that. We'll see you all next week on Let's Chat Gaming number 13. Later. It's black and white